Welcome back to another video of Late Late Customs. Today we have a little bit of sad news and good news. I'm a mama. 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 I'm Hier is het kijkje kost. Maar ik wil je wel die is 50 kilowatts. Kijk je ze aan, 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 Drink your body for the is open. Yeah, 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 I just got even once in the house. Did you get more corners after you actually got the one? No, 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 Well, mini will approve, mini will not, well, mini will disapprove. And Jody actually sold his Honda Civic B20 And he sold the car because if you guys are familiar with Marketplace and Gumtree, the car has been posted um, for the past two or three weeks. And the car sold last week. Um, Jody got a very, very good offer for the car, sold the car, and then he purchased a Mark 1 City.com Newspeak. That's very important, and it's MP9. So meaning, if Jody's gonna keep this car for some time, you can expect a cam, you can expect some timing it being advanced, and maybe a branch and exhaust, and this is actually the exact same car that purchased the Yellow Thanks sound system. It has my old double done in, my old um, sub, well, both subs in the orange like yeah, slot box, and it has a different monoblock in it. But it is the exact same system. And as you guys can hear, I really uh, fit it and Jody has something going on with it. But at the moment, this car is actually lacking in performance. This car is lacking in performance because the timing isn't in 100%. This car needs oil, this car needs an engine bit clean, this car needs a buff in polish, this car needs an exhaust, this car needs everything. Luckily, this car it has coilovers in. With six in the space, and it's actually my old six in the spaces that's in here. So, coilovers, JM coilovers, extended spaces, sound system, and that's a very really good start. So, we paid a very really nice amount for this car, and he was actually helping out the battery at the time when Jody's actually in the need of daily as well. Jody had the money, this car was up for sale, purchased the car, done deal. But I'm sure many of you guys are very, really, very really happy to know that Jody didn't leave the mark one night. After he sold the caddy, he still made a lekker comeback with this car. Made some good progress with the blue um, pilot as well. As you guys know, it's in the spray painting process. So hopefully soon you guys can expect an update on that as well. But 
Let me tear into this real quick. I need to set the timing for um, the camshaft and the crank and the distributor. So I'll just do that. And um, yeah, hopefully we can um, try to convince Jody and uh, free to actually take a run today. So, fingers crossed, comment down below which car you think is going to win. Either Fred or Joe. This car is so dirty, like, it's oil everywhere. This breather pipe is broken. Um, the induction didn't even have like a third thing, as you guys can see that there. This overflow actually burns some of the insulation tape in this area that here. You can see there's some wires exposed. We need to sort out that. Luckily, the car has not been seen us because Jody actually assisted um, while the previous owner when he went to purchase the car. That's the reason why Jody knew the condition of the car when purchasing it. I was the one fitting coilovers in the car and the sound system. So I'm very familiar with the car. Jody's very familiar with the car, everyone's familiar with the car. But 1.4i, what do you guys think? Comment down below which cam you would like to see fitted in this car. Either G cam, 272 cam or 268. The 268 is exactly the same cam I had in the yellow thing with the 1.4i engine. Which I think would be a deal for um, this specific uh, motor right here. But comment down below and if you guys maybe have a cam in a Vernon for sale, you one of those three cams, just send me a message on Instagram or just send Jody a message on Instagram as well at Jody Corner. But we need a lot of TLC right here. You guys can see right here. And I'm sure for a few of you guys that looks very very familiar as you guys can see. It has my old double in as well. As you guys can see it has red line JM coil was in. Street tires. And it has well the old subs in so you guys can see that they're sticking out. Can't hold the boot, but there you go. It has basically everything in. Car needs a nice wash. Unfortunately we disconnected the battery so you guys can't see the mileage, but the mileage is 168. <laughs> On the block, there's an arrow pointing down, and there's like a slit in the pulley. Oh, it's very difficult to see, but um, the best way to check it, you guys can see this on his mark. If you check it in the gearbox, it has one of the arrows pointing down on the gearbox casing, and on the flywheel, there's like such a nice groove cut in there. So it has to be on that mark right there to check if your um, crank is um, well, well, timing is on point on the crank. But now, if you guys come to the cam pulley, you guys can see, it's supposed to be, there's like a slit, oh, it's out with one teeth. So you guys can see, it's well, right there by my thumb, and it's supposed to be by the teeth just above that. So if you check it from here, it's supposed to be level with this section of the golf cup. Whatever way, whatever term you would like to use it, but I usually um, use the term, it's out by one teeth on the cam pulley. So once I do that, I can actually double check the distributor timing. I'm just gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna loosen up the tensioner right here, and then I can get the belt off, rotate the cam pulley, one teeth up, put the belt back on, tighten up the tensioner, and then I'll guide you guys to how to actually set the timing on the distributor. Very basic. Um, I explained this multiple times, but there's still a few of you guys asking how to do so. I'll post a few pictures on the screen to show um, where the timing marks are supposed to be to make it a little bit easier on yourself. Alright so guys, so the previous explanation was a little bit more intense than this one. Very um, basic way to check your timing. Let me just get my flashlight on for you guys real quick right here. So you guys can see that mark right there on the pulley. I'm referring to that mark right there. But if you check it from here, it's basically level like literally just below that nut right there. It's literally right there. As you guys can see, there's it right there. That's the best way to know if your timing is in on your um, camshaft pulley. And if you come to the gearbox, like I mentioned, it has to be that arrow pointing down right there needs to be lined up 
to the flywheel that slid right here in the flywheel. That's when you know your timing is in on your engine. Then you go to your distributor. Now usually on your distributor there's usually like a line. Let me see if I can zoom this in for you guys. I'll put an arrow on the screen to show you guys the line I'm referring to. Very difficult. There we go. So this top part needs to line up with the distributor right here. If you guys can check it from the top, it doesn't line up. So I need to rotate the um, distributor anti-clockwise to get um, it lined up with that slit right there on the distributor. And if I turn it past that point, then I'm busy advancing the timing. Quite basic. Just gonna do that real quick. Cars idling fine, um, revs up quite well. How do you advance the timing on these cars? You um, rotate the distributor anti-clockwise. And trust me guys, like a little bit, just like touching it makes a very big difference. So don't go overboard and like turn it like, just like touch it or leave it on the spot where the groove is on the distributor and you'll be fine. But the car sounds 100 times better than what the previous did because this car sounded like it was choking. And you guys can hear it revs up quite well at the moment. So just going out for a test drive, just want to hear the car pings whatsoever. If the car is pinging, it means that the timing might be advanced a little bit too much. Um, but if Jody gives me the thumbs up, then I know we did the timing quite well. The car is running perfectly fine. We advanced the timing a little bit too much in the car. had like a slight ping. Wow, low like in low revs in a very high gear. But um, I just turned the timing back slightly, turning it clockwise. The car sorted now, so now we're actually going to move forward to... I think we might just like drain the water for now. And go forward with cleaning the engine bay. Because the thing is super, super dirty. Especially the engine bay and the entire car. Is it so I'm going to miss it. Master C. I'm going to I can't get to it. Huh? That's it. No, I'm going to get to it. 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 